Hey you guys. The Cincy Boy O2 here. And I have some even sadder news. Sadly, my mom won't let me have Go Animate for schools. Why? Because she said it was lying about telling us we are a school, so, it means if she doesn't change her mind, that means all upcoming projects will be cancelled. Also, my channel's hiatus might be longer for this reason, but if she does change her mind, here is some upcoming projects on Go Animate for Schools. That's all for now. This is the Cincy Boy 02 signing off.
gonna show you the difference between a steel book, which is TMNT, and a metal pack, which is the Minions. I'll get started with TMNT. This is a steel book. And it's pretty embossed, the logo and the border around it's embossed, but nothing else. Here's the back. It's the DVD. I have to take that out so it can get the Blu-ray. A little weird. Here's the Blu-ray. And I'll take that out too. And that's the digital code. I already redeemed it, so don't even try. 3DS promo. In the back, get some artwork on the back. The turtle slayer, so it's really neat. So again, this is the Blu-ray. And both discs look like sewer layer, sewer pipes, or whatever they're called, sewer lids. That's whatever. And they look pretty nice, actually. And here's Minions, this is the metal pack. And it's and his eyes are the goggles are the only thing that's embossed. In the back. And it has a different opening. So let's open that up. Here is the DVD. Take that out. Take that out. And on the back we have a little artwork of Steward. And the DVD has this nice darkish blue color. That's the digital code. I already redeemed it, so I don't even try. Toys. Minions Paradise app. Universal Hollywood. I went to Universal and it's really cool. Here's the Minions, very movie thing. And here's Bring Home More Comedy. I've seen all these movies. Hop is my least favorite. And here's the Blu ray. I know there are some versions that have white background, but mine has a clear see-through background. The back, here it is. So, that's the difference between the steel book and the milk. But my honest opinion, they're all both great. So, hope you enjoyed this video. See you. See you in the next video. Have a great day. Hello, YouTube. This is the Cincy Boy 2 with my third Disney DVD lookout. This is the two movie collection of Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. There's also a Blu-ray, and I have a Blu-ray player, but I decided to get the DVD because it was cheap. I gave it from the Disney Movie Club. Side. And the back, two discs. It has rescues and rescues down under. And that's my Australian accent. So it's rated G. Let's see. Focus on that. I don't know if you can see it, but both films are 78 minutes. That's the movie rewards. I already renamed that, so don't even try. Here's the first DVD with the Rescuers 1 and DVD 2 with the Rescuers Down Under and again Australian accent. They all look pretty bland with the gray background, but it's the content that matters. Thanks for watching. And before I stop the video, I'm gonna tell you about my voice. When I filmed this on video, I my voice sounds like it's a little girlish, but it's not girlish. It's, I actually sound like a boy in real life. So, if you know that. So, anyways, it is the third Disney to look out. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you next time. Okay, now time for a fourth Disney DVD lookout. This is the Peter Pan Plat Edition. Got from Walmart. And I got it a long time ago. But I still got the slipcover. I usually throw throw those out when I when I was young. But I kept this one. It's the side. Put the side in the back. And the back looks really nice. I have a bunch of bonus content. It's 
comes with movie rewards. This is an earlier title with movie rewards in it. I have no insert I threw those out. And here is disc one and disc two. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry about the thunder. It's storming out. So, anyways, that's a di my fourth Disney DVD lookout. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you next time. Hello everyone, welcome to my fifth Disney DVD lookout. And this is a pretty rare Disney treasure that no most Disney fans don't know, but I know this movie and it's what most Disney fans know. This is Teacher's Pet from Disney. It's a nice review. Four stars from four different newspapers. I'm gonna have a three and a half, I don't know. From the New York Times, Marv's like quick witted and gorgeous, goofy, incredible, joyful feature film. And I do agree with that. This is a good movie, and it has a bunch of jokes that reference older Disney movies, and it's and they kind of blend and make it a funnier film. Here's another from Claudia Plug of the USA Today. Sweet, me touching, enjoyable family film. Has some bonus content. It has a series premiere episode, which was Morphosis. I don't know how to pronounce that. Has a bunch of other stuff. It's presented in widescreen. This movie's pretty short. It's 74 minutes, and it's rated PG. It's still in print, so if you want to find it, well, you can get it on Amazon for a cheap deal. And there's the one disc, and it's a nice case. And I'm just going to, unlike all the other Disney reviews, I am just going to tell you my thoughts at this point. It's a good film, definitely worth one watch, and if you like it, then you're if, with one of the critics on any of this critic stuff. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the fifth Disney DVD lookout. This is the second filming I had an interruption during the first film, but so hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you next time. Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you my Angry Birds DVD collection. This is actually the third filming. I filmed it once, it blacked out two times, it didn't work. So we're gonna do this a third time. So here is the first volume, season one, volume one. Over 90 minutes of Angry Birds run, including 26 episodes. Really embossed slip cover. Um, sorry about the background noise. Someone's having a conversation up there, so I'm gonna hear a lot of conversation stuff. Has some special features in 72 minutes. Each episode is about three minutes long, so I hope you don't mind. So we have a bunch of inserts that fell out. So we have free gift. I forgot to claim the code, so I'm not going to show it on camera. Here's Star Wars, some other titles, mostly smart titles. And we have one plain, boring, clear, artworkless disc. And the key in the DVD, it's, it's, it's in much better condition than the others. I'm going to put the camera right here for a moment so I can pull away these titles. Alrighty. 
so that was season one long. I also have the Blu-ray to this, and it's in much better condition. Here is volume two, also embossed, and this is in much better condition. Found this at Best Buy one day for a cheap deal, and it's got for a good deal. And it's 101 minutes, and there's not a bunch of episodes on here, it's only if you count the bonus stuff. Here's Angry Birds Friends code. I'm not gonna show the code on camera. Here is some um, advertisement for other Blu-rays. And again, we got a plain disc artworkless. Clear. But all of them come in good cases, except for one of them, which I'll show later in this video collection. This one I'll actually show you put away on camera, so hope. So now for season two, volume one, and this is a plain slip cover. It's not embossed, but it's okay. It has some special features. This is only 36 minutes, and so it's a shorter DVD. It's, this season only came with 26 episodes. That's why it only comes with. And there is the DVD, pretty plain, and this one didn't come with any inserts. That's the way I got it. Okay. Here is Volume 2. This came with $3.99 game value for Android. I forgot to claim the code, so I'm going to show the code on camera again. And it has some more bonus, but... Not, those aren't really interesting. I've checked in. They're pretty ridiculous. But so ridiculous it's good. Sorry about the loud background noise. Conversation's getting louder. Has some shorts and some exclusives. Day of a copy mug and laptop. It's just a talking computer and copy mug. And the bird out with Ted Robinson is a pretty weird, not live action cartoon blend. What did I thought it was going to be? Instead, it's just live actors portraying the birds. And there's the DVD, and there's the code. I'm covering it up because I don't want to show it on camera. But it's a pretty nice set. All the episodes are really good. And now we get to the spin off. Here's volume one. This is one of the few that I don't have slipcover to. And it's really cool. It has, um,. Looks like claymation as you can see, but they actually did it as a computer animated series. So it's a really interesting. It has some bonus. This is only 39 minutes, so it's a pretty short series. Most of them are pretty slow shorts and but they're really funny shorts. It's kind of an interesting series. Or spin-off and it's and it actually turned out successful. And this is the highest rated of the series. It's at on IMDB at 8.0. And here's the second season, which is Pigs at Work. It has two bonus episodes and a $3.99 game value inside. Or oh, I forgot to show you the side. Here it is. And here's the back. And here's the actual case. And the case is different. And this is the case that had the bad one. And there is the disc. And it came in. And eco box, woohoo! Yeah, I'm, this is interesting because I don't usually have eco box. I don't usually release these in eco boxes, but apparently they did for this one. So I'm a little bit aggravated with that, but I don't care because it's a nice release. And wait, I forgot to show you the runtime. This is only a half hour, 30 minutes, so it's pretty short. First season of Angry Birds now. I am a huge MLP fan of Brony. And it's kind of like MLP but with Angry Birds. So it's kind of like two of my two great things in one. And again, we're gonna have a and there's the one disc and it's pretty plain looking. But overall this series is pretty good. And if you're a Brony and like Angry Birds at the same time. Go check this series out on DVD, and all the DVDs are pretty cheap. They're, 
They're about really cheap, probably five to nine dollars on Amazon or five dollars at another place. So here's the second season. This is another one that didn't come with a slipcover. I know it came with a slipcover because I, when I first picked up season two of Piggy Tales and season two, volume two of Angry Bird Tunes, I saw it and it had a slipcover, which came with a game value, but I got it later on Amazon for five dollars. And, and there's the one disc. And so that is my Angry Birds DVD collection. Hope you enjoyed this pretty long video. It's running at seven and a half minutes. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, Twilight! It's me, I go away, you dead. Today I'm going to do a look at Zootopia, the Target exclusive with exclusive packaging and bonus content, Blu-ray, DVD, Digital HD. There's also a 3D version available if you like. It comes in an embossed slipcover. This is what you only get at Target. Exclusive. Here's the side. The other side. And the back. It has a lot of bonus features. Blu-ray, DVD, Digital HD again. BG. 108 minutes. I don't know if you can see that well on my iPad camera. And here's the actual case. And this is the exact same as the blue ray that you can find everywhere else. The only difference is the Target version that you get the special slip cover. Here's your digital HD code. We'll claim before the video. Zootopia. Exclusive bonus content. The animals behind the actors in the wild times you never saw. Zootopia. Here are your discs. Here is the DVD, the usual white color. And here is the Blu-ray with the blue color. So, pretty basic. Heck. Let's insert this back. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Hello, this is me, the Cincy Boy of Two, MLP'd. This is me if I was on MLP. You're gonna be seeing me like this in my new series, Brony Review. Coming soon. Coming next week. Hello guys, it's me, the Cincy Boy 2 in brony review form. And sorry if I haven't been making any videos the past week. It was because I was on vacation in Red River Gorge in, and the Natural Bridge in Slade, Kentucky. You should go there. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Anyways, enough of that. I'm going to talk to you more information about Brony Review, an upcoming series from me. In Brony Review, I will be teaming up with some of the main ponies and my trusty Pegasus sidekick, Hick, that's green, and I will be showing to you that, and will be coming later in the series. And I'm just here to show you the oncoming slot or the first four episodes of this new show. First, I will be reviewing Phineas and Ferb the movie Across the Second Dimension. And then next, I will be reviewing one of Pixar's 2015 movies, Inside Out. And then, The Good Dinosaur. And then the next one will be Zootopia. And I will be giving a list later of some upcoming ones. And we'll be doing some guests. Like, for the Phineas and Ferb review, I'm going to have my faithful student. No, not my faithful student, but Twilight Sparkle. 
And when I do Inside Out in Zootopia, I'll have my faithful party planner, Pinkie Pie. So, that was just the quick onslaught and update of my upcoming series, Brony Review, coming this week on the Cincy Boy O2 channel! My little pony, my little pony. This is me, Brownie Review, and in our first episode ever, we'll be taking a look at Phidias and Ferb, the movie, across the second dimension. In this film, Phineas and Ferb accidentally help Dr. D open another dimension and causes big havoc and causes a bunch of mayhem to other dimensions. And so it's up to Phineas, Ferb, and their pet platypus Perry, who secretly was identified to the whole family in this film, will stop a nothing to save the dimensions. And so, what do I think of this movie? It is actually a pretty good film. Happy tunes, great action, fun characters, and a bunch of good jokes. The only negative is its runtime. 77 minutes. It's, at least it's better than the 72 minute Equestria Girls films. So Phineas and Ferb is a fun summer movie that is definitely worth a watch. Where do we begin, as Phineas says? So on this, this film gets 4 out of 5 stars on the Brony Review chart, and hope you tune in to see our upcoming review of Inside Out and the Good Dinosaur. They'll both be separate, so hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Pixar's Inside Out. In this Inside Out, joy and sadness, one of Riley's five emotions, go on and are kicked out of headquarters and and are suddenly on an epic journey through Riley's mind. And this is Pixar's big return to original films. After their sequel break with Cars 2, Toy Story 3, Monsters University. But Toy Story 3 was actually pretty good. Inside Out has a bunch of fun characters. 
a good story, fun imaginative ideas, and it's really creative. And it features a bunch of sad, heartbreaking moments. So, what do I think? Inside Out is the greatest Pixar masterpiece ever. It's one of the top five Pixar films. So, on the Bro Review chart, Inside Out gets five stars. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next episode. And today I just got a package from Amazon's Fulfillment Services. I don't know if you can see that. So this is a new package I got from Amazon. So I'm not going to get into too much detail on what it was and what it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I think I'll do this off camera. My Little Pony Equestria Girls on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Yes! So, here's the front. Here's the side. And here is the back. Some bonus. Some more information on the film. So now... I'm going to open okay, it Okay, so now that it's opened up, I'm going to take a look inside. So, right, first we have the code for the digital copy. Some advertisements for some books. So, here is the Blu-ray. Some nice artwork there. Let's see what this is. Back. So there is it's just the background, and here is the DVD. It's nice artwork there too. So it's really nice looking release. So you can. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of MLP Equestria Girls on Blu-ray, and I'll see you next time. Hello guys, this is me, the Cincy Boy 2 and here is the Kung Fu Panda 3 Blu-ray unboxing. And this is also the only at Target exclusive, which is an exclusive bonus DVD. I don't know if you can see that because of my iPad camera, but it's a bonus DVD. 
certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, this is the awesome edition, but all versions are called the awesome edition. So, here it says, awesomely hilarious, says one critic. I don't know, because it doesn't say the critic's name. I think it'll say on the back. So, here's the front. This is not, this is just the plain slip cover. It's not embossed. But, uh, sorry for the loud conversation. It's, it's, we're having a little party up there for 4th of July. This is my 4th of July special too. Okay, so, here's the spine, and here's the back. The best Kung Fu Panda movie yet. Let's see if my camera can focus to show you the plot. Mm. Here, let me read it. Poe and the Furious Five are back in a hilarious and critically acclaimed hit film your whole family will love. When Poe discovers a secret village of fun-loving, clumsy pandas, they must train them all to feed Kai, a supernatural villain to f that who threatens to destroy Kung Fu. Sorry. Says, two new Kung Fu Panda shorts. Everybody loves a panda karaoke with Poe. Make a panda party soup paper pal. Or a skadoosh and more. The whole family will love it. And spectacular. Digital HD. It says, works with iTunes and Ultra. Sorry if you could, I can't see it with a blurry camera. Rated PG. And G in Canada? I thought the first two movies were rated PG in Canada. Uh, hi. Don't know why, but I'm gonna get out. Here's the actual case. Same as the slip. So... I'm gonna go open it up. Right, so now that it's open, we're gonna take a look inside. Oh, it looks like one of the parts open. Alright, so first, your inserts. First, they have the code for the digital. Nothing. Panda Party Paper Pal. Something inside. It's just a little fun activity for the kids. Some coupons for some stuff. Alrighty, so now let's take a look at the disc. Here is the bonus disc, which you can exclusively get at Target. Let's see. And the three disc version comes with a nice case. Here is the Blu-ray of the movie. And here is the DVD. Sorry about the loud conversation back there. So, and they actually gave it two different artworks. Un unlike the others, Penguins of Madagascar and Home use the same artwork on each disc. So, kind of a nice looking release. Especially when you open it up. And so, hope you... Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Stay tuned for a review of the good dinosaur on the Brony Review series, and we'll see you next time. Okay, good night everyone. Thanks for watching your favorite shows. Come back tomorrow for more of your favorites.
guys. Sit. Stay. Roll over. Good boy. I'm going. Oh, yeah. Yep. Today we'll be reviewing The Secret Life of Pets, Illumination's fifth movie. This film stars a bunch of comedians and is, is all about pets. So the, here's the plot. And don't worry, this review won't contain any spoilers. It's about a dog named Max who is treated with royalty by her owner. And his life gets turned upside down when, his, when a new dog comes in his apartment named Duke. And after a little mishap, they're suddenly out of their comfort zones in New York City. And his... F and... They will go on a quest to come back home. And I'm sending a little deja vu. And I think that movie is... I find the premise similar to... Toy Story. Yeah. Now let's check the similarities. Uh, an object who likes his owner, and has a couple of friends, and his life gets turned upside down by some new cooler person that has took it out of their comfort zones that must return home. home. And even their friends are looking for them. So let's see, that's, that's six similarities from The Secret Life of Pets to Toy Story. So, is it kind of the exact same thing as Toy Story? Well, not really, because this movie has a bunch of great humor. And, and I recommend you see it in 3D, because the 3D in it is amazing. In some scenes, I won't spoil any of the scenes, the 3D is good in it. It looks like it's jumping, actually coming at you. There are scenes in the movie there will be like, Yee! Oh boy, it's in 3D! That's how good the 3D is. The jokes are pretty funny too. There are some pretty good laugh out loud moments in there. And before the movie, you can watch this short called Mower Minions, starring the Minions. In the, the Minions mow of retirement homes line to buy a banana blender and that's the premise and this short is pretty like looney tune ish with some funny slapstick and humor and so i kind of find the short pretty good and the movie it has some great cast funny stuff great visuals and absolutely amazing 3d and so, here's a new thing we'll be doing. It's called a scorecard, where we'll be rating our movies from 1 to 10. Right, so here's the scorecard. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Secret Life of Pets gets... A uh, solid ten. Well, I hope you enjoyed this spoiler-free review of The Secret Life of Pets. Stay tuned for a review of Tom and Jerry the Movie! And have a lovely day. I'm back! So, were you a good dog? Ruff! Now that's good. Right, see you tomorrow.
Hello, today I'm going to do a little time lapse of Jamsy from the Mixels Series 7, and it's 41560 70 pieces. And so, here, if you get all of them, you form the max as usual. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. And then we'll do the time lapse. Chuck E. Cheese's, proud supporter of PBS Kids, helping children discover the fun of developing their bodies and their minds. PBS Kids, where a kid can be a kid. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Mom. Speaks is funded in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by a cooperative agreement from the U.S. Department of Education's Ready to Learn grant. Additional funding provided by the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Sparkle Speaks is funded in part by the WGBH Children's Educational Media Fund and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you.